Hi everyone, it's Bill from Crooked Acres Homestead. Welcome back to the channel. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna harvest the rest of our jalapeno peppers. We've probably got, if I had to guess, two, 300, maybe a little better uh, to harvest. I'm guessing 30 to 40 pounds, but we're gonna go ahead and pick those. We'll weigh them up when we're done. Why don't you come along? <music> So I finished picking the jalapenos off of one plant. Like I said, I'm wiping them out for the season. Even if they're green and they're small, I'm taking them out of here. Um, I may have underestimated a little bit of what we're gonna have here. We've got a whole row of this, but as you can see, I got that many off of one plant. Uh, there's probably 20, 30 in there. So as I work my way down, if I get that many, I'm gonna be well over the two or 300 that I said I was gonna have, but we'll, uh, we'll just keep working down and see what we get. All right, so we're about halfway through the picking here, and I have vastly underestimated how many we had. We're about halfway through, and we've already got two bushel baskets just about filled. We've got that one there, and Tracy's working on one over here that's just about filled to the top. And we've still got about six or eight plants to go. So once we get them all done, we'll get them weighed up, and we'll give you a final tally. So, you guys ever been to the carnival and they have the guy that's guessing the weights? That would not be a good job for me. Because I said 200 to 300 jalapenos, maybe 30 pounds worth. We end up getting three huge baskets full of jalapenos. There's probably well over a thousand here. I'm going to go ahead and throw them on the scale. Let's see what we got. We got our scale. It's about a quarter pound off, and the baskets do have some weight, so it's an approximation here. And it does go to 25 pounds. So that right there is 23 and a half pounds for the first basket. Just under 19 for the second one. So that takes us to just about 42 pounds. And then our last, so the entire bushel basket full, is about 20 pounds. So 63 pounds minus the weight of the baskets. So about 60 pounds of jalapenos, which is about double than I thought we would have. So we're gonna let these sit in the garage overnight. They're calling for lots of rain here tomorrow. So tomorrow we're gonna take you into the kitchen. We're gonna show you the four ways that we like to uh, process our jalapenos, the four different things we do with them. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. So as forecasted, this is what we've got this morning. Steady rain all night. It's supposed to be steady rain all day. I don't see any sun in that sky. So it's a great day to work in the kitchen, get these jalapenos processed. We'll bring you along. All right. so. I got the first two baskets in the house. Uh, we're going to start going through them here. The first thing we're going to do is pick out the bigger ones. Uh, we're going to make jalapeno poppers with them. The other thing we're going to make today is cowboy candy. And we're going to make jalapeno jelly. And the fourth thing that we're going to do with these is just plain old freeze some so we have some for use over the winter. So that's the four things that we like to do with our jalapenos. We're going to make poppers, 
We're gonna make jalapeno jelly, cowboy candy, and then plain old freeze some. So come along as we get that done. So after measuring it out, one of these bowls is 20 cups of diced jalapenos. We need 40 cups, so we're gonna do another bowl of those. Over here, Tracy's got our apple cider vinegar, and I think she put brown sugar in there. I'm not really up on this part of it, but she's got those boiling for our cowboy candy. So once again, we kind of underestimated the size of what we got. So we've got to transfer our vinegar, cider vinegar mix to a bigger pot. Tracy's going to do that. On the stove over here, we've got another one going. We've also got our jars laid out and we've got some of them sterilizing in the big pot there. So those will be ready shortly. I'm almost done diapering up jalapenos over there. Operations going smoothly. So Tracy's taking the first batch of jalapenos out of the apple cider vinegar mix that she simmered them in, filling up our jars. Once we get the first set of jars filled up there, she'll put the rings and tops on and we'll throw them into the water bath. How long do they go in the water bath for? About 20 minutes? 10, I think. 10 minutes. 10 minutes in there. Throwing the tops on them. We're going to put them in the water bath here. Okay, our first batch that we got loaded is gonna go in the water bath now, 15 minutes. First batch is coming out of the water bath now. Tracy's taking them out. We'll set them down over here. One just popped, if you heard it. They usually don't take too long and they start popping. But there's the first six done. So I got a visitor, my grandson Waylon here. He's helping me cut up the peppers. Say hi, Waylon, say hi. 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 <laughs> so the last batch of cowboy candies in the water bath now. So we're gonna move on to the hot pepper jelly, jalapeno jelly. I've got, this calls for not only jalapenos, but it also calls for sweet peppers and green peppers, so I've got some of those cut up. We're going to dice them up in our Ninja, and then we'll show you from there. So we've got our peppers diced up for our jelly. Sweet peppers and jalapenos combined. Okay. 
Tracy's filling up the jars with the hot pepper jelly. And it should harden as it cools. We'll give you an update on that. Also, I had so many jalapenos left that I diced up a bunch of them right there. We're going to throw those in the dehydrator overnight and make pepper flakes, which are great for pastas and soups and that sort of stuff. We bagged up a bunch of hot peppers. Um, we're going to give a few away. Uh, we're going to freeze a bunch also. But with all that being said and done, I still got an entire bushel basket left. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to do with that yet. So we ended up doing 19 jars of cowboy candy. We've got our hot pepper jelly in the water bath there right now. But what I didn't mention is we were gifted this box of pears by good friends of ours. So while we've got everything out and we're working today, we're going to peel those, core them, and get those canned up also. And we've still got our jalapenos right there that we're going to make poppers out of. We'll do that after the pears. Well, we're starting to clean up for the day. We've had enough for one day. We're about eight hours in. Um, we were able to process about 40 of the 60 pounds of jalapenos that we had. We did 19 jars of the cowboy candy and about seven jars of the hot jalapeno jelly. Um, on top of that, we did do five jars of the pears. We would like to maybe do some more pears, but we ran out of sugar. We went through over 20 pounds today and we didn't have enough. So we got that done. I've also got this bowl of chopped uh, jalapenos and sweet peppers. We're gonna throw that in the dehydrator. Um, after about 12, 15 hours, that makes a real nice uh, pepper dust. You can put on pastas and different things. Uh, I've got some jalapeno poppers that we made. I've got a container there ready to go in the freezer, but I'll show you what we, is what they look like here. We're gonna cook these ones up for dinner. So basically, I just cut the pepper in half. I stuff it with cheese and some meat. Uh, I like to use venison normally, but we're out of venison, so I had to use beef. And then I wrap the whole thing in bacon because bacon makes everything better. And we'll throw that in the oven for a snack for later. And then lastly, we've got our bags of jalapenos here that we're gonna freeze. Um, we can make more poppers during the winter and that sort of thing. And we've still got about 20 pounds, a whole bushel yes, yet, let, yet in the garage that we got. To, we'll probably end up giving them away, honestly, because we've, we've got enough at this point. So we're wrapping up for the day. And that's where we're at. All right, so we're finishing up on our day. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed watching us as we worked out in the garden yesterday evening. Did a little canning, a little kitchen work today. Uh, actually, a lot of kitchen work today. Um, but we were able to get quite a bit done. I hope you enjoyed coming along for the ride. If you did, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. It helps us out. Leave us some comments. I try to answer all of them. Um, that's it, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.